the sea. <laughs> Sunlight's rest, dreams of delight. So here Ryan and I are. We paddled a canoe out to this little island across from our campsite at Woodstock Fruit Festival. And we found a little, really idyllic, glassy area, which should be perfect for a, woo, there goes the dragonfly. Should be just perfect for a little fruit snack, which we brought in our backpack. All these dragonflies here. Here they come. <laughs> Three of them just buzzed us. So this is our little fruit stash in our backpack. We've got some uh, golden kiwis, which I've never tried before. And oh, I got one apple, a clementine, orange, and the big deal is Ryan scored us three mangoes which have been in short supply at Woodstock Fruit Festival and tell the story of how you managed to procure these for our yeah, Mike picnic. Mike being the, the you know, main man of, of the organization just kind of waved me over and said hey you can carry all these um, papayas over to the um, where people are trying to get food at. So I just grabbed yeah, maybe 20 cases. You know, a few wow! Trips. And um, I was asking about the mangoes since there are in short supply. He said oh I'll give you a few. Nice! Yeah. Well done! Yeah. So one of the things that I found at Woodstock Fruit Festival to bring on our picnic is a uh, dragon fruit and this one's bright white inside. Usually the ones I buy at farmers market are a hot pink inside so this is something new to try out. Mmm, so good. I'm going to pass one to Ryan. Here since you've done more work, let me give you the big side. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> such an awesome day. It was really hot up at camp where everyone dines at. So we came down to the shore and then hopped in this canoe. And now the wind is perfect. It's so nice in the water. The fruit tastes even better out here after a big paddle. Oceans of this kiss. 